When Trump was elected, we all knew it was going to be bad, but we had no idea how bad it would get, and we had no idea how quickly it would get so bad. We don't know if they're murderers, if they're killers, if they're MS-13, we're throwing them out by the hundreds. Trump was describing them as invaders, and, and he was sending the National Guard to the border. I have ordered another 3,750 troops. In the first group of caravan people, there was like 5,000 migrants in the first caravan, and there was four of us lawyers, and we were telling them what we could. You can't be surrounded by all that misery and pain. When the Trump administration announced its policy of zero tolerance. The United States will not be a migrant camp. And that week, um, family separation had exploded. The, the trauma that went through those kids and those parents is, is something that will never be erased. The people that I wanted to reach out the most and be able to assist were African migrants or black migrants coming into Mexico and not being able to have any type of assistance. All they wanted was safety and security and refuge, and they believed that the United States was a country that would provide them that. Okay, all right, okay, let's go. So we got called back. So uh, la otra abogada me dijo para traerla. We were denied again, which is just ridiculous. It just doesn't make any sense. They have a blind person who's in the system, and they don't feel like they have to follow the law. Their own law. President Biden on defense this morning, with the migrant surge growing at the southern border. They don't know what's happening down here. A lot of women told us that in the night, the guys tried to open the tents to rape them. I'm afraid that nobody's really giving legal advice to them. They just know they're waiting, but they don't know what they're waiting for. A 20-year-old girl um, whose mom was in the northern part of Mexico, and the girl came to find the mom to reunite with the mom, and she suffered an accident falling off the train. Migration shouldn't end. Why should it? <laughs> human beings have migrated since the dawn of humanity. This is our basic human right.